Hey there folks, welcome to Pro Tips from Pro Chefs. I am Andrew Ray of Binging with Babish, decidedly not a pro chef, but they gave me some airtime and I'm gonna use it to talk to you about salt and pepper. That sounds pretty boring, right? But it's not. It is actually all different kinds of salt and all different kinds of pepper, but I'm gonna show you the ones that you need the most in your home kitchen. First up we have table salt. This is the salt that you're probably most familiar with. It's the one that's on your dinner table. It's the one that comes in the cylindrical cardboard tube with a little metal spout that always breaks off and ruins your day. See how the salt just is cascading from my fingers? While it's very good for baking, not so good for cooking. Because first off, as you can see, I can't pinch it. You see how I have no control over what's happening below my fingernails? I feel out of control right now. I'm not a man in control of my situation or my life or anything, really. Uh, <laughs> Just get rid of all the spilled salt. <laughs> Bad luck. Okay, <clears throat> so. Just so you know, guys know, we love keeping in the flubs and the stupid stuff, so feel free to you know keep all the silliness in. Now for cooking, as you cook more and more often, you want to salt to taste. That's what most recipes say, right? Salt to taste. For that, you want to go kosher salt. Kosher salt is the choice for chefs the world over because you can control it. You can pick it up, feel how much you're grabbing here. This feels like about three quarters of a teaspoon to me, if I had to guess. And then you can control how much is going into your food. And you get used to that and you can cook more fluidly. You can cook by salting to taste. That's what most recipes say, right? Yes. <laughs> So the last salt that I want you to keep in your pantry is flaky finishing salt. Now these are big old honkin' salt crystals, you see that? These are not only gonna add a nice little bit of salty bite to your dish, it's also gonna add a whole lot of texture. It also looks really nice. This looks delicious and tastes delicious on brownies, on cookies, on your salted caramel, on your steak. When you, when you finish plating up the steak and slicing it, hitting it with a little bit of butter and flaky salt, your guests will never leave your home. You'll have to call a lawyer about, about um, uh, squatter's rights. It <laughs> didn't come to me fast enough. There's a salt, these are the salts that I want you to go out and buy right now. I'll wait. All right, so. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So let's get the salts out of the way. <clears throat> let's get all of this bad luck out of the way. Look at all this spilled salt. I'm gonna die tonight from this. The Babish Bench Scraper, for the discerning bench scraper, like as a person, a person who scra scrapes benches, a bench scraper. This is the bench scraper for the one of them that's discerning. So next up we're talking about pepper. So there's a, little, there's a theme going on here, salt and pepper? All right, so you got it. Pre-ground versus fresh ground. This is what most of us have in our kitchens. The stuff in the shaker, the stuff in the little square tin that has the pour a whole lot outside and the sprinkle a little bit side, right? No? Good for you. Uh, that must mean that you're using freshly ground pepper, which I am a huge advocate for because it tastes bigger, it tastes brighter, it tastes more floral. You can control the grind size. That's about it. But all those things <laughs> are worth the cost of admission alone. And to prove it to you, I'm going to bring my producer, Abby Glacken, right on, right on in here. Is it pronounced Glacken or Glacken? Glacken. Okay, correct. all right, cool. Yep. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna mix these up. Close your eyes, please. Thank you. Keep them closed. And we have never met before, right? Who are you? Uh, <laughs> we have met before, that was the joke. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna mix these up, and I'm gonna ask you to smell them, <laughs> which is not a pleasant thing. It's never fun to smell pepper directly, so I apologize in advance. But you're gonna tell me which one smells better. Take a look. I mean, I okay. don't smell anything. Oh, okay, that's pepper A. All right. Now, what about pepper B? Big one. Ooh, 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 yeah. ooh. There's something there. There's something there. Ooh. See? Pepper. All right. You want something there or you want nothing there? And you want freshly ground pepper. Thank you, Abby. Great to Thank see you. Thank you. Well, folks, I hope I managed to teach you something halfway interesting about a very uninteresting subject. Until next time, my name is Andrew Ray. Go check out my channel on YouTube. It's called Binging with Babish. And go to DrewBarrymoreShow.com for more tips, tricks, and Drew.